Hi, it's Kathy the Crafty Chica, and today I'm going to show you how to paint a beautiful lantern that will work perfect for the holidays and even all year round. I'm using the DecoArt Multi-Surface Satin Paints, which I love. I use them for everything. They're a main staple in my craft room because I use them on glass, plastic, wood, in this case, terracotta. I love painting on terracotta. And what I love about the multi-surface paints is that you can blend them easily, you can layer them, you can mix and match them, or you could choose to use them as is. There's so many beautiful colors that you can incorporate into your projects. Now, I ended up painting two of these lanterns. They're also called chimeneas because it's like a little mini chimney. I just think they make great decor for around my front porch and my house, even to give as a hostess or housewarming gift. And I thought I would share the process with you. So let's get started. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to do this and you're gonna end up with an awesome lantern. We are starting with a terracotta luminaria, also known as a chiminea. These will go so perfect with the DecoArt multi-surface satin paints, and they come in so many amazing bright colors. So the first thing for this project is you wanna pair up your colors in darks and lights because it just helps give it more dimension if you could start with a darker color and then accent with a lighter color or vice versa, whichever you'd like. Okay, let's get painting. Decide if you want to paint your entire Luminaria in color or you want to leave some of the terracotta. For me, using these beautiful paints, I just wanted to cover the whole thing in bright colors. Adding a thin layer of white acts as a beautiful base. And then for this particular project, I'm going to use the yellows as a base coat on top of the white. So I'm just gonna go in with a thicker base coating brush and I'm gonna give it a thin layer of the yellow. And what I love about this is because we put the white underneath, it will only take one coat where the area is embossed for the leaves. I'm gonna go in with the lighter green and I'm gonna lay down a thin layer there as well. Same thing with the flower in the center. This is going to be a nice background base so I can build up using the other colors. Remember, the whole goal of this is to have fun and create a piece that you will love to share and show off. So as you're going along the process, if you happen to place down a color that you don't like, let it dry and then simply paint over it. Now, as I was painting this, I put pink in the center of the little round area, but as I started painting, I'm like, you know what? I don't think I want pink. I think I want purple. So because the pink was light enough, I was able to go in and add a layer of the darker purple on top. Okay, remember when I told you about using the dark and light colors? Now I laid down a base coat of the lighter yellow, but now I'm gonna go on top of it with my blender brush and I'm gonna use the darker yellow. This is just going to warm it up a little bit, give it a little more dimension to get a sheer texture on top of the lighter yellow. Now it's time to make it all come together. You can go through with the white and add little dashes to look like highlights. Also use a skinny black liner to add little touches of black. I feel like outlining everything in black just makes it pop even more. White is also a nice color to add just some little interesting surprises like little tiny dots. And 
there you have it. I hope you had a great time watching this video. I cannot wait to see what you make. I would love to see what you do with it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And visit me over at craftychica.com for even more crafty ideas. And don't forget to visit decoart.com for lots of creative ideas. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.